Hello, everyone. I'm Alpha. A Beta. And I'm Gamma. And welcome to another episode of The Criticism's Dogs. Today, we'll be discussing the latest adaptation of the book, Little Women. Joe March is a teacher from New York City. In the year 1868, she goes to story editor Mr. Dashwood and asks for the rights to publish a book that she started writing in 1861. We then go back in time to when it all began. There, Joe and her sisters, Meg, Amy, and Beth, are living in Concord, Massachusetts during the, during the American Civil War. Tides turn for them when the three eldest sisters feel pressured to marry and Beth develops a scarlet fever. So, will things go smoothly for the March family, or will transitioning to adulthood be cause their pitfall? Alright, so why don't we start with the basics? Beta? Gamma? What do you think of Little Women as a whole? Well, Alpha, I got to say that it was one of the best movie adaptations I've ever seen, and one of the best movies of 2019, period. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Gamma. Okay, so I also agree with Gamma, and I have to praise a lot of things about Little Women. First of all, this is one of the quieter movies of the past year, making it a relaxing experience for us. Not every modern film needs to be loud and epic, but let's talk a little more about it. Now, pretty much all the main characters in this movie are admirably likable, although I think Laurie Lawrence stands out the most because, it's, because he's such an empathetic and charming guy. So, what about the four sisters? Well, I'll be the first to admit that Amy Marge is the sister I like the least. Why? She's such a selfish blockhead! Yeah, I can understand what you mean, Gamma. I mean, Amy did burn up Joe's writing ideas just because Joe wouldn't let her come to some ball party with her. That is way too, too selfish and disrespectful toward her own sibling's hard work. However, I personally found a charm to Amy's mean-spirited temper, and have to consider her to be a decent example of a well-written, entertaining jerk. Also, while she can be quite mean-spirited, we can tell that she does regret her self-motivated actions. Anyway, Beth March, the youngest sister, spends almost the whole film suffering from scarlet fever, but despite this, she not only is able to play the piano very well, but she also made us care for her. We wanted, her to, we wanted her to recover from her illness. I know you would want to know if she survived or not, but I'm sorry. We cannot tell you because it will end up spoiling the movie for you. As for Meg, she is the least developed sister. This is disappointing to me because I adore her actress Emma Watson. Yeah, I especially love her singing voice. Oh, I want adventure in the gray wide somewhere. I want to okay, find okay, some Okay, okay, stop, stop, in stop. The gray stop world. singing that horrible torture song, please. Okay, I just thought you liked to hear my Emma Watson impression. Now let's talk a little about the acting in this movie. Right. Well, I believe that all the actors were so good, I couldn't pick a best actor. Actually, I think that Chris Cooper as Mr. Lawrence is a standout performance. Really? Why is that, Gamma? Well, it's just that I couldn't tell it was even Chris Cooper. Heck, I thought it was Kurt Russell playing this character. Hmm, interesting. In conclusion, Little Women is a charming, relaxing, and soothing experience. It has likable characters, brilliant performances, and a smooth, warm flow to it that makes me feel quite uplifted. If you enjoyed Pixar's Cars, then we're sure you'll abhor this film. No, 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 it's a door beta, not abhor. Oh, well, you... you get what I mean. Well, we are the Criticism's Dogs signing out. If you like this podcast review, then feel free to like, subscribe, and or share. Peace!